Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of mathematics, you are welcome. Today's lesson is on Tarnikov theorem, and we are going to do problems on how to use Tarnikov theorem to solve problems or to find angles there. And our lesson is on grade 11, Euclidean geometry, presented by Merulek Shabalal. Okay. First of all, we have to remind ourselves that failing maths is not an option. And if it was, I was not going to take it. Sit your song is my dad with maths. Wow, how nice is mathematics. Okay. Yes, our Tanko theorem. We are going to use Tanko theorem to solve problems here as I have said that. First of all, we have what we call the Tarnikov theorem. What did the Tarnikov theorem say? If the angle between the tangent and the chord through the point of contact is equal to the angle subtended by that chord in the alternating segment. And the accepted reason for that Tarnikov theorem, as we see that the reason for that one, Tarnikov theorem. As I have said, the, the angle between the tangent, we know that you have our tangent there, the line that charges the circle ones. Okay, the angle between the tangent and the chord. Which chord are you talking about? You're talking about this chord. It means you're talking about the angle between the tangent and the chord. They say equal to what? Equal to the angle subtended by that chord to the alternating segment. It means if you have the angle between the tangent, we have this is our tangent. Wow. And this is our chord. I mean the angle between the tangent and the chord. They say equal to the angle subtended by that chord in the alternating segment. Here's the alternating segment we are talking about. The angle, be angle between the tangent, this is our tangent, this is our chord. The angle between the tangent and the chord equals the angle subtended by that chord to the alternating segment. It means there we have also our x. This is our x we are talking about. The angle between the tangent and the code equal to that one. Wow, how nice is mathematics. What if now we have that y now? Y is equal to what? Here is our tangent again. The this is our code now. The angle between the tangent and the code. It will be equal to what? Wow, it will equal to that angle there. Because the angle between that tangent and that code, that code are we talking about? And the tangent we call talking about it means the angle to the tangent segment you move from here up to that point you have our angle there equal to y wow how nice is mathematics this is the most important thing to understand the basics on time code theorem so that you can able to apply the time code theorem and we're going to do problems on how to use the idea of Tarnikov theorem as you can see there are such a reason how to reason to write your reason in Tarnikov theorem wow how nice let us move on they say find the missing angle below given the reason in each case it means you have to write the missing angles write the reasons you know the reason in Tarnikov theorem how to write the reason here is our problem and you have our diagram there we have our angles there, then we have to use our turning code theorem. Immediately, as you can see, we have our tangent there. Wow, how nice. Okay, if we have that angle, the red one, between that one, this tangent, this cut, and this tangent, it means it will be equal to what? Wow, it will be equal to that one to the alternating segment because this is our code we're talking about and this is our tangent it means we feel from here let's move to our alternating segment there is our alternating segment therefore this one equal to six it means immediately you can see that angle y equal to what 60 because there are then an alternating segment using what the ten code theorem before you solve your angles you to see that it's got to ten code theorem wow how nice now what if now we have that one the blue one this angle now between this is our chord this is our tangent the angle between that chord and tangent will be equal to what to the angle subtended by that chord to the alternating segment wow how nice okay let's see that one we have this one as our 
to court and this is your attention. It means from this court now to the alternating segment. It means now this one x equal to what? For the five degrees, what? We're using what? A ten court theorem. Wow, how nice. As you can see, this one equal to this one. The angle is subtended by that one to the alternating segment. Okay, as you know that in Euclidean geometry, we are not interested in how to find our angles. But the most important thing is that can you able to write down the proof? How, how did you come up with that angles? Okay, first of all, how to find our angle x there? How to find our angle x? Okay, angle x equal to 45 degrees. As you can see, this is from 10 code theorem. This is our angle 45 degrees. There is our x because our, our alternating segment is x there. Therefore, our x will be equal to what? 45 degrees. The reason for that you use what? It's an code theorem. Wow, how nice is mathematics. Let's just move on. Find calculate the angle y now. Let's calculate the angle y. This is our angle y. Wow, as you can see now. Can you see that this is angle y between the tangent and and the court immediately when you see the angle between the tangent and the court immediately bring the theorem of the theorem of a ten court theorem the angle between our tangent and the angle which uh, alternating segment equal to 60. can you conclude that y equal to 60. yes we can say our y equal to 6 using what ten court theorem wow how nice is mathematics okay now the last one calculate the angle z now already calculated our angle x there we got our angle x equal to 45 and we calculated our angle y there we got our angle y equals to our angle y equal equals to 60 degrees but here can you see we have this triangle and this triangle we have calculated this one equal to 45 Using 10 code theorem, and we have one, that one equal to 6. Now they say, let's calculate what? The angle Z. But to see that we have a triangle there. Can you see that? In a triangle, we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle equal to what? 108. We have our 45. We have our 6. We have only one Z as an unknown. But you can find Z. How can you find Z? We can say our Z. How, when you add X and 60 degrees plus z equal to what 180 degrees but i have this two one 60 degrees and 45 degrees it means if i can find that i can say z will be equal to what 180 minus 60 minus the sum of 60 and 45 degrees as you can say and you get my angle they equal to what 75 degrees how do that did i use the angle sum in a triangle some of the angles in a triangle oh wow how nice can you use another method wow how nice because you're a mathematician you you see that i already have this one we created our angle y equal to what 60 degrees and i have that one equal to 60 degrees and i need what z but you can see this one is a straight line bring a fact about the angles in a straight line what did you know about the angles in a straight line you know that angle is in a straight line add up to what 180 degrees we have our this one equal to 60 degrees and we have that one equal to 45 degrees how can we find that one we can say 180 degrees and subtract 60 degrees plus 45 degrees then we add up we and we get that our z also equal to what 75 degrees we can use the theorem angle equal to 75 degrees angle in a triangle in a straight line using that fact wow how nice is mathematics let's enjoy this thing mathematics let's just benefit let us use mathematics enjoy the beauty of mathematics wow how nice i hope we are okay with that one let's move to another one now to another example on turn code theorem okay we are still using our tangents here is our diagram there and we are given that in fit we are given that we are given that in figure rds is a it is a tangent they say rds is a tangent to a circle o 
at D, BC equal to DC and angle C, DS equal to 40 degrees. Calculate with reason the size of the angles. As you can see there, they are given tangent. Now, bring facts about tangent. What do you know about tangent? And you know that here, this angle equal to 40 degrees, the red one equal to 40 degrees. It is the angle between the tangent and the chord. What do you know about the angle between the tangent and the chord? We know that this one, the angle B1, the angle between the chord equal to the angle, separated by the equal to alternating segment. It means here now, DC, the alternating segment, it is there in B1. Therefore, this angle also equal to what? 40 degrees. Wow. How nice is mathematics? We were given that again. This one, BC equals to DC. But you know that we have D, triangle D, C, B is a triangle there. And we have BC equals to DC. Wow, how nice. Immediately, you can, can you see that this is an isosceles triangle? What will be your conclusion on D2? Wow, D2 also equal to what? 40 degrees. The base angles on an isosceles triangle. Wow, how nice is mathematics? Okay, this is calculate 1.1. Then so they say calculate in 1.1, calculate the angle BDC. The angle B. D, C. Then you have to show the steps there, and you already show the show, show that D one equal to B one. This is our D one. D one equal to B one using what the ten chord theorem, and we know that U B one equal to U D two. Base angle is in as a stress angle. Then we can conclude that our angle B D C angle B D C. Angle B D C also equal to what? For the degrees reasoning base angles on a associated triangle. Wow, how nice is mathematics? Let's just move on now in 1.2. In 1.2, they say calculate the angle C. Where is C? This is C. But we already cal calculated that a B1 and B2, and we have this triangle. D C B. Angle is in a triangle area of 208. As you can see. Once you find C, you can say C is equal to 108 minus D1 and B1. D, 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 sorry, D2 should be D, instead of D1 should be D2 plus B1 equals to, as yes, you can say 180, we know that B1 equal to 40, D2 equal to 40, and B1 equal to 40, 40 plus 40 equals to 80 degrees, it means 180 degrees minus 80 degrees equal to 180 degrees. It is the angle C that we are required to calculate. Wow, how nice. Now we have our angle C. They say now calculate what to A. You see, we have angle A, we can uh, angle C, but we know that we have our A, D, C, B. How was your conclusion based on that one? This is our cyclic quadrilateral A, D, C, B. What do you know about the cyclic quadrilateral? Be Related to A and C, we know that opposite angle is in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to what? 180 degrees. But we already calculated to C. What is our C equal to what? 100. Then how can we get find A there? We can say our A there 180 degrees. 180 degrees minus our angle C. What is our angle C? is 100. It means 180 minus 100 degrees equal to what? 80 degrees. The reason for that. And opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. Wow, how nice is mathematics. The last one now in 1.4. They say calculates our O1. Remember, we have our in O1 we have DC to DP subtend the angle at the center of B1 and subtend the angle of this conference. So A. What did you know about angles subtend at the center and angles subtend at the circumference? You know that. The angle is obtained at the center is two times the angle is obtained at the circumference. We have our center there, we have our circumference there. But we, we know our A, we calculated our A there. Our A equal to what? 80 degrees. Angle at the circumference. How can we find the angle at the center now? Wow, how nice. We can say O1, this is our O1, is equal to two times the angle at the, at the circumference. O2 means two times the angle circumference of which is A. Then when you know that two, when you already calculated our A, they equal to 80 degrees. We can substitute 
we can substitute our a there a d degrees we have o1 equal to 2a 2a multiplied by a 80 degrees of which is a then we get our angle what equal to 180 160 degrees the reasoning opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral wow how nice is mathematics this is the end of the lesson i hope you enjoy hear my details there if you have questions my email address melulekshabara at gmail.com here is my number there zero seven triple three one double eight zero two thank you for your attention i hope you enjoyed this video let us enjoy the beauty of mathematics let us sing our nice song how nice is mathematics and my dad will be a very kind of